Hey guys, it's Daniel with Trail and Mountain, and today I'm going to be testing a new product from a company called Full Windsor. Here's their website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. Um, they make titanium uh, gear for backpacking, hiking, camping, that kind of stuff, and uh, they were nice enough to send out some products. So, um, first of all, first and foremost, this is not a paid review. I did not get paid by Full Windsor to do this review. Got this product all on my own, <clears throat> so this is a non biased organic review of my own opinions and just wanted to throw that out there so um, first product well I'll do another video on the second product but first product is this one it's called the muncher now this one is titanium multi utensil okay so we have on the back here has all this other stuff so it comes with a carry pouch for one so that's kind of cool uh, has a carabiner has a fire starter ferrosium rod it has serrated knife cord cutter bottle opener spork a peeler so if you want to like peel stuff like potatoes i'm guessing uh, it has a can opener a package opener and a flathead screwdriver pretty much everything so it also on the package it says half an ounce so that's even better but yeah, this is it right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpackage it right behind me on the little table here. Flip the camera around just so you can see what I'm doing. We'll get this thing unpackaged, show you what it looks like, show you what it comes with. And then we'll finish up this review. And you can make up your mind on, number one, whether you like it or not. And number two, if you would consider buying something like this. I mean, just from looking at it in the packaging, I'm like, that's kind of cool. I kind of like it. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's flip her around and get started. All right, so here you go. The Muncher, titanium multi-utensil, full Windsor. So let's get this thing unpackaged. On the back here, it kind of gives you kind of like a little topo map kind of a design. I kind of like how it looks. Uh, recycled packaging, that's a plus. Full-Windsor.com. Uh, yeah, so let's get it opened. Guessing. Yeah, there we go. Probably just gonna have to rip it apart. Oh, it does have a little. Oh, that's weird. All right, so here's your full Windsor titanium spork. It is really light. I will say that it does have this really sharp um, blade right here. It's serrated. And your spork. There's your peeler right in here. So that's if you're like, you know, you're gonna peel some potatoes or whatever. Probably peel it this way. Uh, either either or. Can opener, bottle opener. Um, there's your flathead screwdriver. One thing I did notice is that the these edges right here and right here and of course the serrated knife are very sharp um, this is I mean you're not, you know you can probably cut yourself on it but if you're not careful and you're holding this thing these edges right here and right here are really sharp so I want to see the the weight and what they're describing so get my scale they're saying it's half an ounce so I want to see if that's true I got 0.8 ounces on my scale, but my scale might not be the greatest. It's pretty old. Set that off to the side and munch. It's a verb. Eat something steadily and often audibly. Okay. Online store, you get a 10% coupon code. That's cool. Fullwindsor.com. Can also be used for other Full Windsor products. Even better. We'll set that off to the side. So here's the pouch. The pouch has a carab mini, mini carabiner right there, so you can use that for this, I'm guessing. Yeah. That doesn't go... There it goes. So you can hang this if you wanted to. Um, there's your ferrosium rod.
guessing you would use yeah this edge right here this is the edge right here for your fire striker so get some sparks going right. just, that works not the greatest to be honest but it works and you can throw your frosium rod back in here you always have access to that And then you have your spork, deep dish on the spork part, right here. The serrated knife is pretty sharp, and you have all your other stuff. So, pretty cool little device, uh, not device, but utensil. Shove that in there when it's all said and done. And then you can yank the sucker out when you need it. Just like that. You can hang it off your pack, you can stuff it in your pack. Total weight on this thing. Just so I can show you what we got. I'm showing total weight as 2.4 ounces. Okay, so that's the full Windsor Munch. Um, pretty cool little utensil, multi-tool slash, if you will. I do like the pouch. I like how everything fits in it nicely. The one thing that I do find a little frustrating is that it's really hard to get out of When the ferrosium rod is in its little slot right here, it's hard to get the utensil in and out because it gets caught and then you can see how it's like starting to scratch. So maybe I need to put it in the other way. I don't know if that's going to help. Doesn't look like it. But maybe the ferrosium rod needs to just go in last. So. So put the utensil in. It's got to go in one way. I usually put the knife in first. And then we'll put the ferrosium rod in after that. But it's kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest. So once it's all in there, you're good. You can take this out. But sometimes it gets caught, like, right here. You can, I don't know if you can see the vertical scratches there. There's also these scratches too. That's from the, the fire steel, but the um, in my experience, the fire steel didn't work that good. Um, I did have to kind of get to the raw actual ferrosium, but I mean, it doesn't really... I mean, it throws some sparks, but I've definitely used fire steels that are better. So it doesn't really work that well to be honest. The rest of it though is really cool. I do like the, the spork, so that's gonna make for eating your meals a little easier. Um, something to consider though, and might wanna use, you know, the, the tool like this, just to, or the pouch, just to put your thumb on it. So as you're eating, you're not gonna cut into your finger. Um, aside from that, Pretty cool idea. I do think it needs a little revision. They're definitely on the right track. So I'd like to see a better fire steel. The peeler, um, I don't have any potatoes or else I would pe peel one for you. But um, essentially, yeah, you have a peeler, you have a can opener, bottle opener, screwdriver, knife, spork, fire steel, um, and it's titanium. So it's going to last and it's gonna not going to rust. It's super strong and it's lightweight. So that being said, put everything back in there. Get my fire steel in there. Then you have everything you need to hang it off of your backpack or just kind of stuff it in somewhere and use the carabiner for something else. So um, I do like the overall idea, making it like, you know, a spork slash multi-tool. I just think it needs a little bit of revision. 
Um, I do like that it comes with a little bit of paracord right there. And it has a pouch, so it keeps everything nice and tidy. And it has the carabiner, so you can clip it to your pack if you want to. I also like that they put full Windsor on the carabiner too, so that's, you know, just attention to detail. But I do think that the fire steel part um, is not the greatest. So, honest opinion, that is the Munch from Full Windsor. Here's their website once again right here. Make sure you check these guys out. Um, they do make some pretty cool stuff. So thanks again for tuning in. If you liked this review and found it informative, you want to get one of these for yourself, I'll drop a link down in the description box down below where you can make your purchase. Um, it is an Amazon link. I am an Amazon affiliate. When you click on that link and go to Amazon and make your purchase, uh, it helps support my YouTube channel, so I really appreciate it. I mean, I uh, honestly, I get pennies on the dollar, but, but over time it adds up and it allows me to produce higher quality content to give back to you. So I really appreciate all the help, love, and support you guys have shown me over the past couple years. If you guys have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure you leave those down in my comments section down below, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, please share, and please subscribe. It really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. So thanks again for tuning in. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, tech and camera reviews, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors. We'll see you in the next video.